Hello gang, Omni here. We got a the first official trailer, the full trailer, not a teaser, for Maleficent 2, Mistress of Backtracking. And if you haven't seen my previous reactions or heard me talk about this film, I wasn't a big fan of the original. I think for anybody that was a fan of Maleficent, it, it had to have been some sort of a betrayal. It wasn't a bad movie. It was still good for what it was, but it wasn't... It, I know they were trying to do something different with Maleficent. But what everybody loves about Maleficent is her evil. Like, just how much of a villain and how much she just, like, seeps into being the mistress of evil. I mean, she gets her powers from hell. I mean, in, in the original animation, at least. Um, huge fan of just that character, and I thought she was a lot of fun. And I think the casting was perfect. Perfectly executed, perfectly chosen. Angelina Jolie sold it and looks the part. I just really wanted a movie about a villain. And now we're getting that after having the original tale told from this point of view where she's like a sympathetic hero. And it just feels like they're backpedaling to be like, no, 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 no. Uh, well, she'll be evil. She'll be evil. Don't worry. But uh, let's see if there's any more added to this, any more depth uh, to what we saw in the teaser and whatever that, like, sexy Halloween outfit was at the end of it. Uh, let's go ahead and pull up this first full trailer. Five years ago, I thought I lost you forever. There is no curse that could ever tear me away from you. Will you marry me? Yes! I have a little bit of news. Don't ruin my morning. Philip <laughs> asked me to marry him. No. I wasn't really asking. Nor was I. Love doesn't always end well, Beastie. Trust me, let us prove you wrong. You have done an admirable job going against your own nature to raise okay, this child. Okay, so these are... But now, she will finally get the love of a real Philip's mother. parents. Tonight, I consider Aurora my own. There is no union! There will be no wedding! What have you done? We go home now. Aurora! is a threat to everyone. We'll do our best to protect you. Well, well. Uh, I mean, it looks One can beautiful. Be too careful. The castings are perfect. I don't know what that is. <laughs> this isn't you. You do not know me. Like, what's the point of making her evil now, though? And I, I'm not, I don't understand, like, what, Tell like, the motivations are for this. another creature. You've spent years caring for a human. What? Now it's time to care for your own. What? Maybe I missed something in the the first version of this. The first Maleficent didn't wasn't she the last of those fairies? Maybe that was the assumption. Maybe they went into hiding. Maybe I'm remembering it wrong. I don't know. It, I don't I don't understand what her goal is at now kind of backtracking to manipulate Aurora. I don't understand. Like, it, it kind of seems like, at least at the dinner, that she is protecting her mothership over Aurora with Michelle Pfeiffer's character calling her out and be like, no, 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 no. She doesn't need a fairy as her protector or whatever you are, witch. Uh, I, I, you know, she'll have a real mother, me, a human, because we know better. We're better for her. 
And I don't know. She just like I get that aspect of it because she does feel like a an ownership and like a protective nature over Aurora. But like at this point, it's like even more so than it was ever shown in the first one. And she pretty much just causes open war again and just snaps and thinks everybody needs to die. I don't understand where that switch comes into play or if there's something else we're not seeing that happens. I don't know. Weird. Again, I think going back and making her evil again now after what happened in the first one just seems like it just doesn't feel natural as in the way that they set it up. I don't feel the motivations for it. I don't feel the logic and why she's like going to these extremes now against Philip's family in that kingdom. Are they moving into Aurora's kingdom? I'm not sure how this is working. But I don't know. I mean, it looks great visually. Visual, the visual effects look awesome. Angelina just is the perfect live action casting you could have for Maleficent. But I just, I don't know what the direction is that they're trying to take this. And it, even with the setup that they gave us in the first one, it just doesn't feel like this is the natural direction that that would go with the state of mind that Maleficent was in at the end of that movie. Like I said, seems like some backtracking and some steps in logic just to get to the mistress of all evil part. So I don't know. What do you guys think? I'll pass this off to you all. I know my thoughts on this franchise or whatever you want to call this is very, I don't, I don't much so care. I just want to know what the mindset is going on behind it. Cause I could talk at length about the first one. There's things I liked about it, but it's one of the few films that I went into and it was legitimately angry at seeing it just be just because of being like a diehard I wouldn't say diehard but like have being such a fan of the classic evil villainous Maleficent I don't know let me know what you guys think what are your opinions on this more larger scope um drawn out and um trailer that we have of this a little more look into what the actual plot's going to be let me know in the comments below how you feel about this. How'd you feel about the original one? What do you think about this direction that they have taken Maleficent in? And how would you have done it differently? Just, I'm giving you guys some ideas. Let's talk about this after the video. And if you like this video, make sure to support the channel. Hit that like button. Comment down below. If you didn't like it, let me know in the comments what you didn't like. Thank you guys for hanging out. Thank you all for supporting the channel. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.